All right, looking towards November midterm, momentum by Republicans is growing by the day as Trump-backed candidates in states all across the country are now running winning campaigns and pursuing an agenda to deliver prosperity for their constituents. For example, Republican governors are now leading the way in school reopenings, job growth, business prosperity, working class success, all while Democrats double down on, you know, more climate change alarmism and, of course, higher taxes and greater inflation, higher energy costs. Anyway, uh, one person that kind of wrote the roadmap with great success uh, is now Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin is with us. Governor, good to have you back. How are you? I'm doing great, Sean. Thank you for having me. And you hit it right on the nose. I mean, what we've seen across the nation is just like Virginia last year, Americans standing up and saying, wait a minute, open borders and a ruined economy. And oh, by the way, bureaucrats standing between parents and their children and defunding and demeaning police, that's no way forward. And in Virginia last year, Republicans, independents, and Democrats came together and voted for change. And we're about to do the same thing across this entire country this year. You know, you were able to bring something to the forefront in your campaign that I think, if people will pay attention to, there, there are the obvious issues. Record high inflation, a 40-year high, record high gas prices, obvious. Uh, you mentioned the borders, chaos at the borders. Uh, but then you brought into play education and teach and, and how we teach our kids and what we're teaching our kids and the age appropriateness of what we should be teaching our kids. And you've made a lot of moves as governor in that area. And the other area that you've done a lot of work on is law and order and safety and security. Governor, I don't think you could pursue happiness in America if you're not safe and secure in your town or city. No, Sean, you're 100 percent right. I mean, right out of the box, we put into action 11 executive directors and we submitted 59 bills and our day one agenda got moving. And we, in fact, saw that when we invest in law enforcement as opposed to deplete resources, when we stand up for training and equipment and we prosecute people, guess what? We can combat rising crime. In Virginia, we back the blue. And in education, it was just very straightforward. Lowering standards is no way to have increasing results. And so we have a record education budget this year. We're investing in choice. We're investing, yes, in teachers and facilities. But we also are gonna teach our children how to think and stop teaching them what to think. And it was really important right out of the box that we re-empowered parents. We gave them the ability to make decisions about whether their child wears a mask or not. We gave them the ability to decide whether the materials and the curriculum are ones that fit their values, not the bureaucrats and the politicians' values, but family values. These are basic, basic principles that Americans are going to stand up for. You know, the, the red wave that started in Virginia is going to crest across this nation and come crashing down on California. Governor, I want to cross your record. You, you've not been in office very long. Uh, we see Joe Biden's policies, what they've done to destroy the economy in, in 18 short months. Uh, but just in a little over six months as governor, uh, you have given the Commonwealth of Virginia $4 billion in tax relief, the largest tax relief, if I understand it, in Virginia history. Uh, including eliminating a, a state grocery tax. You doubled the standard deduction uh, for joint filers to $16,000. You gave every Virginia taxpayer a rebate uh, on education. Uh, I was shocked. You, you, you're spending more than uh, ever spent before in the history of the Commonwealth, $3.2 in direct aid, and you increased teachers' pay by 10 percent. I would think they might like you for that. Uh, you've also invested in law enforcement, $45 million to fund uh, school resource officers and, and other monies for law enforcement. Uh, and the results have been pretty impressive in terms of job creation and what you've been able to do for the economy and what's happening in your school system. Um, that, only, that sounds like you've taken your rhetoric campaign promises and turned it into action, which I thought was also a signature of Donald Trump. Well, Sean, thank you. And what happened on day one is common sense prevailed. And it's an extraordinary thing when you all of a sudden start laying out common sense, conservative solutions to problems that face all Virginians. And what we recognized out of the box was even though we don't have control of our Senate, because the Democrats have a majority in our Senate, we could always use common sense and get somebody to come with us. This is about bringing people together and delivering results. This is what voters want. They're tired of being told 
that someone else knows better. Let's get around the kitchen tables as Republicans. This is what we're seeing Republican governors and Republican go Republican gubernatorial candidates right, do across let me the nation right now is listen so, to voters and they're going to win. Let me ask you then, because we've got an important midterm election in November and we got gubernatorial races, we got Senate candidates, we got every House member up for election. What advice would you give them? What did you learn in your race that they could apply to their races that would help them uh, in terms of explaining what the agenda is that they're standing for, the promises they're going to make, and then, of course, on the other side of it, the importance of keeping those promises. Yeah, well, f first, Sean, it is to, in fact, campaign everywhere. You know, it's not just Republicans. We want independents and we want a bunch of Democrats because these common sense, these common sense conservative solutions to everyday challenges are what voters are worried about. You know, the, the left liberal progressives want to tell everybody that they should worry about things that don't impact their lives. The reality is inflation, school, jobs, crime, and oh, by the way, a government that's been telling them what to do all the time as opposed to working for them, this is what voters want. So stay focused on those key kitchen table issues, deliver solutions, and we're going to win across the country just like we did last year in Virginia. And for those that don't know, I mean, you went up uh, against a seasoned pro in Terry McAuliffe, not a lightweight, and you beat him handily in a state that uh, had been trending blue for a long time. Anyway, Governor, appreciate you being with us, as always. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.